What's going on everybody? I am here to talk to you about Jeeps on the Mountain. And although this was a first year event, I would say they had a really good turnout. I would mostly say things went right. But let's talk about the things that went wrong. Let's talk about why our front bumper's hanging off. Don't worry, we're gonna tell you the good too. Will we return next year? Will you return next year? To find out our thoughts, stay tuned to this video. Also, please drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Will you return next year? So, let's answer some of the simple questions first, guys. Jeeps on the mountain. Jeeps on the mountain. Does it mean you have to have a Jeep? This is, this is Brandy's like, like favorite, favorite rig. Car. No! The off-road community is a vast and ever-growing community with any vehicle you want. You can bring a jacked up Prius out here on 35s. We may look at you a little funny, but you prove that thing's capable out on the trail or in a mud hole or on a rock crawl, pretty much anything. And you're going to get the love from the Jeep community, from the taco community, from the F-150 community, and the up-and-coming Bronco community. So, let's talk about some ups and downs. First, I want to talk about this show. Some of you may not even know there was a show there. And what am I talking about? I'm not talking about a TV show, although we were there. I'm talking about the vendor show. What's up, guys? We are out here on Jeeps on the Mountain, and this is our little setup, our little domain. Um, so we got our rig set up, we got our t-shirts here, and our Priest Precision tank that we are going to be giving away. So make sure you get on our website and check that out, because somebody's going to get this soon. So I want to talk to you about... Colin, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to talk to you about um, our bumper situation, because as you know, we mentioned in our uh, video that you know the bumper probably wasn't set up the best and we were gonna kind of uh, Maybe see about hooking that onto a tree. We winched out last night um, It was a Jeep pulling a trailer was stuck in the mud pit down below And literally I mean it just folded the bumper off of this thing Just like I said it would <laughs> Look at that Look at that So it's supposed to lay flat there Yeah <laughs> It literally just pulled the whole thing up Let's walk around here and kind of see what we're uh, working with. So this is Backroads Adventures setup. This is uh, Rob and Jody are putting this whole event on. This is their setup. This is their other rig, no worries. This is the one that Rob's allowed to tear up and that one he's not. I heard that last night. inches later <laughs> six and a half hours later
Off road recon. Let's get over here and talk about these little off road trucks because I have never seen one before. And if you look, you've got such a small wheelbase there with, you know, this thing looks like it would just like tip right over. Cart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like golf cart. Uh, but these are made by Jeep. I think you said this is a 57 or 58, somewhere in there. And uh, they've kind of, you know, made it look like they're setting it up for a recovery vehicle or a tow vehicle. Um, but above all, really cool. This one on the other side um, looks a little better on the outside, but it doesn't have a floor pan in it. So whoever's driving it, their feet are just sticking out over the ground. What was wrong with the vendor show, you might ask? I watched Jeep after Jeep drive right by the show, right through the parking lot, and right down to the trails. How do we fix that? Well, we put the vendor show down where the trails are. What's better than hitting a mud hole and then working up a little appetite, digging yourself out of mud, pop over to a food truck and get yourself a nice thing of barbecue brisket nachos. A little mud on them. So, down at the bottoms. I know you're empty here. You better take some gas, old girl. So, let's talk about the trails. Let's talk about being down at the bottoms. Trails. The trails. Is there potential? Yes. Did the people setting them up maybe not know the best things to do? Yes. Did they need to roll out an official trail ride, guided tour with maybe some guides or people on the trails to keep things organized? Yes, but the good thing, these things are only going to increase. And I'm not just saying they're going to increase this year, but they're going to increase the next year and the next year and the next year. And pretty soon, we're going to have an absolutely amazing event. Does that mean that it was not worth it? No. Now, just for a little backstory, if you can tell here, the truck's not pulling the Jeep out. The Jeep is pulling the truck out. And this is the guy that I met out at the event the first day who told me he was going to be down at the mud hole in his truck to pull all the stuck Jeeps out. So, <laughs> it's all in good fun though. We had a great time and uh, I'm glad he had the guts to get his truck out there and get it stuck in this hole. So, kudos. Yeah, we gotta cut all the food. So I don't know if you heard what I said right there, but this is a common issue we have when we're out filming. 
we cannot have audio that has uh, copywritten music playing in the background. So this particular guy here, this Zog vehicle, he did a lot of content that we'd like to put in the video, but we just couldn't because he had music playing. Um, so we've chopped down a few pieces and played without music, but please keep that in mind if you ever see us filming on the trails. If you cut your music down, you got a much better chance of your rig making it into our episodes. to it. It's mud makes it a lot harder. <laughs> So, I foresee the trails next year being much more organized, much more managed. Now, that doesn't mean we want a person at every corner shouting orders at everybody and everything gets really controlled because that's really not what it's about either. We want to go out there, have a good time, and branch off, do some things on our own, and then rendezvous back at the food trucks after 6 p.m. It was most definitely worth it. And I don't even know the events in Iowa, but I can tell you here in Southern Missouri, where we have Jeep events and off-road events and overlanding events all the time, I would go again. The food trucks were absolutely amazing. What was there was delicious. We had uh, nachos with chicken on them, barbecue nachos with pulled pork on them, barbecue uh, macaroni and cheese. We didn't get a chance to stop by the uh, food sandwich truck, but it looked good and we tried. That was another complaint I had. The food trucks closed too early and I don't know if they ran out of food. They probably did. But we got to figure that out. Bring more food. Now, we stopped by a little coffee shop, a little coffee truck, and boy was that delicious. So, above all, although minimal, the food trucks were good. Oreo. Just, how many are we doing? We'll do a six pack. Nice. I want this one. Amenities. Let's talk about things that you can do other than hit the trails. There's a ski lift. You're on a ski mountain. I've got a lot of these. You're gonna see it. I'm pretty much a. Get ready. Okay. Yeah, you'll just sit down right on your butt when it comes up. There you go. Have a seat. <laughs> get on it. Get on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sit back. What the? Oh, sit never back. mind. It's ain't. Sit all the way back, Claire. Get your butt I, against I, the back. It ain't. It ain't. gonna be high here in a minute. Oh no. Don't do that. Tony, this is gonna be what so much fun. Yeah, it's one of the rides. I know. Barely tugging up here. This is crazy. That's what I said. It's running really slow. Yeah. It's probably because there's nobody on the other side pulling us up. Probably. Or because you sat down. <laughs> Could be. Come on. Uh, Can't believe you'd say I'm, that. Watch all the muscle. This is cool. Was that cool? Yes, it was cool. Do you want to hear the downside to it? You could only ride the damn thing up the hill. <laughs> so if you wanted to ride the ski lift, you had to drive your Jeep to the bottom of the hill or walk get on the ski lift, and ride all the way back up. Kind of defeats the purpose. I don't know. Maybe they need to work on the equipment. Maybe it's not an equipment thing. I, I, maybe it's a weight thing. Maybe, I don't know what it is. But if we can fix that, let's try. Okay, other amenities. The petting zoo. I would say the petting zoo is the single most popular thing at the entire place 
for the families. <laughs> Whoa, boy. I don't got nothing. Mommy and Daddy buy this for me? No. Look how big its head is. It's so cool. There was a bounce house in the building. Is there going to be more things like that next year? Boy, we sure hoped it so. What you can do, drop comments on social media posts, on videos like this. I know Mr. Rob Dodd and Jody Dodd are watching this video. And I know that they're going to look in the comments to see what you guys are saying. Now is your opportunity to voice your opinion on things you would like to see in this event. They are listening. What does this mean above all for the Jeep event? It was a good Jeep event because I can't tell you how many this awareness or that awareness or Jeep this or Jeep's going here or Jeep's here and you go you meet up with a Jeep crew and then you hit highways and you hit gravel roads and you do all these things that really aren't off-roading. This was the first real attempt I've seen at more of a Jeep event where they get beginners, moderates, and even some professionals out on the trails together at a Jeep event. Very good attempt at it. Next year, I am so sure it's gonna be better. I think it's a big success, man. I think uh, I think the biggest flaw that I see mm -hmm. is only having one way out on the trail. Yeah, uh, and I talked to him about doing a second way out, but yeah. what they were worried about was they had the pedestrian traffic and they were worried about people going too fast or yep. something. So, it would decide to only have one way in and out. And so what, what we could do was either not have it or have one way in and out. Yeah. And I knew that it would be popular. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't know it was going to be that popular. Huh. And, you know, it's fine. Well, after they've seen this Jeep crowd, it's about 10 times the size of their music crowd, they may change their minds next year. <laughs> I do want to thank Rob and Hawkeye RV for providing us with an amazing hospitality RV setup for the weekend and taking care of us. Because to be perfectly honest, it would be harder for us to make this event happen if that wasn't there. Uh, we've seen so many Jeeps out running around. It's been pretty crazy. And we did get to test our winch bumper out that we told you guys was probably a piece of I was right. It performed very well. Huh? I'm excited about it. It was great. Yeah. It was high quality. Also, there is some talk, possibly, of a VIP ticket where you get to hop right there in that passenger seat and do a ride along with us. In a full episode, you can get in here and show your complete personality. Would you purchase a VIP ticket to do a ride along with us? and maybe a lunch. I don't know. Drop a comment below and let us know. Also, we want to give a shout out to Sundown Mountain in Dubuque, Iowa. Thank you very much for having all the Jeeps and all the people and all the stuff going on. Without your facility, this could not have been possible. Awesome place. We hope to blaze many trails over the next few years out there and uh, add to the event. So, thank you Sundown Mountain Resort. And we hope to see you, maybe, in some snow for some snow sports. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail. <laughs> this is how men crack eggs. No shells? So this is basically a Jeep of that. Well, it is a Jeep of that. And we are... Here, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs>